Dell was open for uh, CS, IT, and EC branch, and uh, the first round before the online assessment was a resume shortlisting round. Because most of the questions were uh, uh, gate questions, uh, like similar, very similar, not exactly the same gate questions, but very similar to the gate questions. And after the online assessment, uh, there was a shortlist. They shortlisted around uh, 24 students. Uh, the interviewer was uh, the manager of uh, the yeah, like the team I'm currently working on, and the round started with again uh, introduction of the candidate and okay. uh, overview of all the projects uh, in the put in the resume. So and I was surprisingly not asked any coding questions. Hi and welcome back to Coding Ninjas guys, I'm Kabir Singh and I'm here with another spectacular interview experience for you guys. So today I'll be talking to Roshan and he is working at Dell Technologies. So basically I'm going to ask him how his interview went, how many rounds were there and we'll try briefing out every round for you guys. So let's start talking to him and let's start digging into the interview. So hi Roshan, how are you doing? I'm good Kabir, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, Roshan, can you give me a small introduction about yourself? Yes. So, I'm Roshan Salian. I'm working as software engineer 2 in Dell. Uh, I did my, uh, this is my first job and I did my mm -hmm. tech in NIT Suratkal. And before this, I've done my PE from Mumbai University. And That's great. The M-Tech was followed uh, directly, like there was no gap between me and uh, M-Tech. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's about it. That's great. That's great. Okay. So when we talk about company like Dell Technologies, you know, it's, it's really uh, established. Everybody wants to get into a company like this. And, you know, companies like Dell, you know, Oasis are, you know, one of the big games out there uh, in the companies of hardware. So how many rounds did you have for this company? So I had a total of four rounds. And uh, the first round was online assessment. Uh, mm -hmm. after that technical round and then managerial round and finally HR and okay. here uh, before uh, one thing I would like to mention is um, Dell was open for uh, CS, IT and EC branch and uh, the first round before the online assessment was a resume shortlisting round where the okay. criteria was academic performance throughout. Oh, okay, okay, that's great. So, when you talk about the actual online assessment for the first round, how was that round for you? What was there in the round? Can you brief us out a bit? Yeah, sure. So, it was an online MCQ round on Hire Pro platform. Uh, mm -hmm. There were a total of 60 questions to be solved in 75 minutes. And the okay. 60 questions were broken up as 15 questions of uh, aptitude and then okay. the uh, 45 questions of uh, technical subjects. Uh, and these okay. included OS, DS, algorithms, um, computer networks, DBMS, and few questions, just one or two questions of uh, software engineering and cloud computing. That's great. That's great. So if I ask you one really key question out there for that interview round, uh, which is how would you rate the difficulty of that interview? What would you say? Uh, so that was medium uh, for me because most of the questions were uh, uh, gate questions, uh, like similar, very similar, not exactly the same gate questions, but very similar to the gate questions. And they were uh, on the easy to medium side if, uh, to read the difficulty. Okay, okay, okay. So moving on to the next round, what actually happened in the second round? Yeah, so second round, um, after the online assessment, uh, there was a shortlist. They shortlisted around uh, 24 students uh, for further technical rounds. Mm -hmm. And uh, so my technical, in my round, uh, there was no coding question asked, but uh, they evaluated only on basis of uh, theory concepts uh, of CS. Uh, so okay. a few of the questions, so they started with uh, an intro uh, introduction of the candidate and this was followed by all the projects mentioned in the resume so a uh, big right. chunk of time was uh, allotted only right. for explanation of project and what exactly is the uh, candidate's contribution in the project if it was a good right. project correct and then uh, this was followed by a few technical questions on the subjects of uh, os uh, mm -hmm. mainly uh, so this included a uh, basic uh, introduction like in Production type questions of uh, semaphore deadlocks and similar concepts. 
and okay. after that the interviewer moved to the topic of uh, memory management uh, how mm-hmm. memory management in c differs from um, that in python and okay. he went on to ask about uh, garbage collectors and okay uh, how is dynamic memory allocated in c and questions on those lines uh, okay. this was followed by a uh, very basic uh, questions on uh, get github he asked uh, questions uh, like few commands and like explain what uh, the command means and uh, mm-hmm. how do you like very basic questions on uh, how git works right um, yeah i think that covers the first one that's great you you gave a very detailed uh, explanation of the round that's really really nice because it because it makes uh, a little easier for the people watching this video to you know get into um, preparing for companies like dell also guys if you want to read the interview experience for dell company out uh, roshan has written an article as well for coding ninjas i'll put the link in the description below you can have a look and uh, for sure have it uh, have a read to it okay going forward to the third round what actually happened in that roshan okay it was a managerial round and uh, there was uh... the interviewer was uh, the manager of uh, the yeah, like the team i'm currently working on so mm-hmm. he asked he to ask the uh, technical questions in this round and the round started with again uh, introduction of the candidate and okay. uh, overview of all the projects uh, in the put in the resume so uh-huh. uh, do uh, so do like mention like have a good idea of all the projects mentioned in your resume because uh, right. this is asked in all, all the rounds and then he moved on to technical questions which were uh, mostly on the topics of os and computer networks and one uh, for example in computer networks he asked about the aloha protocol and uh, types of aloha protocol and then okay. he uh, asked the application based question on the aloha protocol uh, after this uh, there were few basic questions on again on the os topic mm-hmm. uh, this was followed by uh, i think just one puzzle uh, uh-huh. and then he moved on to the um, the questions where uh, like the candidate is asked how would you react if uh, given this situation okay so situation based questions. questions are there yeah so okay. two questions i remember from that are uh, so suppose you're working on a group project and the teammates you're working with the decide uh, like uh like the decide not to like contribute and um basically they're lazy so how would you mm-hmm. react in that situation and another question he asked uh, so suppose there's a deadline tomorrow and your project is not completed uh you are uh, you are currently a day before the deadline so like what would be your action plan for the uh, like right. for the project right yeah so, so round okay. two or like by the round three was concluded with this that's good and finally moving to the last round what actually happened in that uh so hr questions like uh, the questions are basically to judge uh, if the candidate is a cultural fit for the organization right and, uh, they included very uh, basic and standard hr questions and mm-hmm. few situation based questions like uh, how would you like in the how would you react given the situation right where uh, suppose uh, there's a conflict with team member something on those lines uh-huh. and then they asked on uh, like are you okay with the relocations so standard right. hr questions correct correct so moving on to the final difficulty of the interview including all the four rounds how how would you rate it was it easy medium or hard was it very smooth or a little difficult to crack uh so the entire process i found it to be very smooth firstly because all the rounds were concluded in the same day uh, mm-hmm. except for the online assessment the interview rounds all were done on the same day and the result right. was announced in the, on the same day in the evening mm-hmm. and for the difficulty it would be uh, easy to medium somewhere right. in between and i was surprisingly not asked any coding questions but uh, this was not the case for other candidates who were interviewing along with me with other right. panel so they okay. were asked the uh, coding questions there okay. um so like have a good grip of theory subjects like os and uh, you should be very thorough with everything in the projects so you'll get through the round. right okay 
So I I really thank you, uh, Roshan, for giving us such a good detailed interview experience for the company Dell Technologies. Again, guys, we have an article written by him, which you can go and read. I'll put the link in the description below. And I hope that this interview experience comes in handy, and uh, you can actually go on and you know prepare yourself for cracking companies like this. Thank you so much for everything, Roshan. I'll see you in the next one. Happy coding, guys! And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Coding Ninjas. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.